Hidden away in the countryside of Chillicothe, Ohio, is the Schrader Road Tunnel. Built underneath a set of railroad tracks in 1927, the old road tunnel is said to be extremely haunted. The story really goes that long ago, a woman was carrying her baby while walking along the train tracks late at night. The two were hit by an oncoming train. It is said that her ghost and the ghost of her baby haunt the Schrader Road Tunnel. Many people who have traveled through the tunnel report that they have seen the ghostly figure of a woman holding her baby. Others report hearing odd, unexplained wails and moans. Because of this, locals started referring to the Schrader Tunnel by a very different and much creepier name, the Crybaby Tunnel. Oh, hell no. So, Levi Woodruff is intrigued by the spooky stories and sets out to explore the Crybaby Tunnel late one night. As you might imagine, it did not go well. So I've been down in here in a place called Crybaby's Tunnel. It's a, a place that's local around my area. And they say she got hit on the tracks with her baby or, um, or her body was dumped right there in the creek, creek down here. There's something dead right there. Bro, there is something dead right there. It's a dead deer. It's a dead deer. I've been out here forever trying to get Why stuff. Why are you from. down there? This place is spooky. Is anybody out there? That sounds like me. Hell, no. Hell to the no. In the pitch black darkness of the tunnel with nothing but a flashlight, Levi suddenly hears the disturbing cries of a baby. Familiar with the spooky stories about oh, the tunnel, Levi <laughs> makes a run for it. So could these You're cries belong to the spirit guys. of the baby that the tragically passed away at the creepy old sucks. railroad tunnel? I've had this one for a long, and is the ghost long, of the baby's mother also time. inside, just waiting for someone to come in? The, the House of Hell Light no, and like Shadows. TikTok creator Anthony Yamada has dedicated his TikTok page to making videos about life in Japan and the available homes and real estate there. In one of his videos, Anthony is giving a tour through an affordable four bedroom home in Fukuoka City, Japan, when this happens. Here's what $760 gets you in Fukuoka, Japan. Now today we have a classic Japanese home, starting with a very nice I tatami room. What? This house will run you a monthly rent of Juni Monen. This four bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Three minute walk away from a supermarket, electronic store and convenience stores. Did you see it? Yup, right there. Well, Anthony didn't. But soon after he enters, a shadow can be seen moving around and standing behind a translucent Japanese style wall. But when Anthony looks behind the wall, there's no one there. But Anthony didn't notice any of this until shocked viewers quickly flooded the comment section, wondering if the reasonable price of only 760 a month for a four bedroom home in a large popular city has anything to do with that. Some viewers even Hell jokingly no. ask if the ghost is included with the house. Now, is this a Japanese ghost or not? Did and not would you pay 760 like, a month like to live with one? I'll leave that up to you hey, yo, to decide. Money, though, can we split Reaper. The the ghost? TikTok user Jess is a certified oh, nursing like assistant. One night, she's working the late shift in the psychiatric unit at an old oh, and allegedly mind. haunted children's hospital in Maine. Crazy children. She I'm spots something that sends good. a chill down her spine. Okay, there's nobody here, right? 
nobody here. What is that? Because it is not me. This is me leaving, closing the door. What the f is that? And here comes the door back opening. Is he behind you? Or is that in front? But yet. human-like figure can be seen standing in front of Jess in the hospital hallway mirror. But there's no one there. A TikTok commenter points sense. out that she the might be seeing the image there. of a reaper there to collect someone to take their soul to the other side. Jess confirms that, strangely, one of her patients actually did pass away the following day. It's worth mentioning that Nurse Jess has never posted any paranormal content on her TikTok and has only ever shared videos about her life and experiences working as a certified nursing assistant. So could this be a reaper caught on camera? You decide. Down below. Crafter Moore Johnson from Huntington Beach, California is packing for a trip to sell her handmade goods at a Las Vegas trade show. Suddenly, she and her business partner hear something downright creepy coming from somewhere just below their feet. We're trying to deal with this. I have had not enough coffee to deal with this. Honestly, this is coming from the dream. Okay. That's uh, some creepy, creepy words. Mara and her business partner hear creepy mm -hmm. sounds and what can what only doing, be described man? as singing coming from the sewer drain. The time of this recording is at 5.45 in the morning, so it makes no sense that anyone would be down in the sewer that early, much less singing. Now, Mara is in no way claiming that she captured anything otherworldly. In fact, none of her videos on her TikTok page have anything to do with the paranormal at all. Mara simply posted this one creepy, unexplained moment that she experienced. So, just what is this? And who or what is down in the sewer singing at 5.45 in the morning? For now, this eerie capture remains unexplained. I want to know where she lives. We need scary videos, so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. A room with a view. Ever since they moved into their new apartment, Joey Chalupney and his family have been experiencing strange, unexplained activity. Their furniture and belongings seem to inexplicably move on their own. Their infant son's toys turn on and off at random, and they often hear the sound of doors and cabinets opening and closing on their own. So on this particular day, Joey suddenly hears something very odd coming from his son's bedroom. He is determined to capture evidence of the supernatural activity in the apartment, so he takes out his phone and begins to record. What he captures is truly chilling. So me and my wife have been living in this apartment for about six months now. For the past two weeks, some weird things have been happening um, in our son's room. So I wasn't gonna record, but I, I actually I came here to feed the cats. We have two cats. So I came over to feed them and I, I noticed that in his room, my son's room back here, there's one of my cats, I can hear his toy being played. And it was not on there's no, he's not, is he not home? Like, it is playing on? right now. And I don't know why it's playing right now. Um, I didn't leave it on. But even if I did leave child, it on, I'll turn it off. Even if I did turn it on, it wouldn't automatically play. You'd have to, even if I brush over the keys, it doesn't really go. So you'd have to really press the button and there you go. And it was not on and it turned on and I could hear it. And that's why I started recording. And now that I'm looking around, I was like, there's stuff knocked over. There's plants knocked over, there's fake plants knocked over. There's books on the ground. 
the wipes are on the floor. I don't know what is going on. And there is no one here. I am here by myself. There's nothing, nothing here. Do you see that? Am I insane? Am I insane? I someone just walked by the window and I will, I will go out there and show you that no one is here. This door is locked. There's a closet door. This is also locked. I don't think we've ever opened that, that door. That is a bit it's always strange. Locked. Just the weirdest things are happening. Weirdest things are happening. An electronic toy turns on by itself. And as Joey looks around the room, a strange shadow can be seen passing by the balcony yeah, I window. Actually, I didn't the first Joey time shows that it. there's no one outside and that there's nowhere for anyone to hide. In fact, this window is on an enclosed balcony 12 feet off the ground. It would basically be impossible for anyone to climb up, walk by this window, and then just disappear by the time Joey rushed outside. Later that evening, Joey receives a motion notification from the nanny cam in his son's room. He checks the feed and is shocked by what, what he finds. See? If you look really closely, the rocking chair starts to move. It's in the corner. Gonna maybe be a relative that passed away that's like looking after the bird side. You can see it's very slight, it's very slight. But you can see the shadow kind of moving. It's rocking on its own. There's no one there. Everyone is at my mom's house right now. Everyone's at my mom's house. And then the wipes fly off the dresser. And then that the hamper. The baby's hamper falls over. Like what is going on? No one's there. What is happening? A rocking chair sitting in the corner of his son's bedroom begins to rock back and forth by itself, almost as if someone is sitting in it. Then some baby wipes fly off the dresser and a hamper falls over onto the floor. Joey says that the family has already made plans to move to another apartment. And until then, they will be staying at his mother's this, house. No. Scary videos. Jason Barber from Salisbury, North Carolina comes home from work and he gets the unexpected scare of a lifetime. Oh, a snake. something serious a big angry snake is hiding around the edges of jason's front door and lunges out in an attempt to bite him luckily for jason the bite was a miss and the snake is actually a non-poisonous black rat snake but something to be learned from this if you walk up and your cat is just staring at the door and meowing for no reason maybe take a closer look before you just head in the cat darted off like hell no He's like, hey. In another clip, a man and woman have a similar scary encounter. <laughs> Yo, where are you going to see the snake? Taking the cat. Is that the a couple cat? pulls out an old step stool and is shocked to find a large snake hiding under a box right in front of it. They make a run for it with their puppy following close behind. Oh, that's a dog. But the puppy oh. is not gonna let the snake have his toy. So he just runs back in and yoinks it away. Snake or not, nothing is getting his favorite toy. That's so funny. Game changer. Nukes top five viewer Christopher Duncan emailed us some creepy CCTV footage captured at a small church in rural Mississippi. The CCTV camera is recording the playroom of the church's, quote, youth group when something happens that no one at the church can explain. <laughs> watch, John. watch, John, are you watching this thing? Yeah. It's, it's not, no, oh. oh, no, watch, watch, watch. Uh, oh. Watch, John, watch. Wouldn't it be Better making noise when people would hear that? Like, Nobody oh, listens no. to me, there's ghosts in here. Let's Nobody listens to me. Watch it. It's about to go crazy and bright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, it broke. <laughs> it's still moving! It's still moving, y'all! It's still moving! Oh it's God. still moving! If it floats in the air, it goes for the top and you'll freak out. It moves. It's so good. A pool stick on the floor of the church playroom can be seen rolling around, shaking, and vibrating all on its own before it just snaps right in half. 
Chris says that the kids in the room were so busy and loud that they didn't even notice the creepy event. But after playtime, church officials found the broken pool stick on the floor and went back to check the CCTV footage to find out just who did it. They were pretty shocked to see that the pool stick seemed to just break on its own. Chris says the church is known to be haunted and that there have been many other incidents of paranormal activity over the last 20 years. So could this be the work of an angry spirit or an aggressive entity? And why at a church? Let me know what you think. I don't know, that's a good question. Strange noises from the toilet. This next video was posted to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit, and I really appreciate all my subreddit followers, so I'm just going to repeat what someone on there wrote that I should say about this video. Reddy user Minato caught something really odd on his home camera while pooping. So user Minato is actually a guy named Dustin, and he apparently has an extensive collection of bongs, but never mind that. Let's just analyze what Dustin heard while um, dropping the kids off at the pool. Hello? The dog is like, what? A soft female voice can be heard calling out, Dustin? Now Dustin is home alone, but he says the voice was so clear that he thought a stranger was standing right outside his bathroom door. Even creepier, Dustin's two dogs seem to be anxiously looking around the living room, almost as if they can see something that we can't. So did Dustin capture, quote, something really odd on his home camera while pooping? And just how many bongs does one fellow need? Dustin. Uh, you can answer these questions and more down in the comments. That is weird. Hello? Melville Cemetery. A new Stop by viewer and YouTuber who goes by the name Wishy reached out to us about a live stream from the allegedly haunted Melville Cemetery in Melville, New York. Wishy says that his friend Brian went out to broadcast a Ouija board session live from the Melville Cemetery while his friends watched and talked to him on Discord. Now the Melville Cemetery is located on Sweet Hollow Road, a road that has many tragic and ghostly legends attached to it. One such legend is that a school bus driver lost control and drove off the bridge crossing Sweet Hollow Road. All of the school children on the bus met a tragic fate. Another legend says that three boys took their own lives by hanging themselves from that very same Sweet Hollow Bridge. So it goes without saying that Sweet Hollow Road and the cemetery are said to be extremely haunted. Brian is on a Discord call with his friends, who you'll hear in the background, and he is streaming live as he decides to do a Ouija board session just outside the gate of the Melville Cemetery. Things start to go wrong, and what happens next? is truly terrifying. Yo, that's moving. Yo, oh my God, look up. Why is it going to no? It said no? It said no. Be like, yo, yo, the camera's moving. Yo, bro, the camera's moving. The camera's moving. Bro, I'm leaving, bro. Yo, I'm leaving. Was it you that moved the camera? Bro, the fucking car is going off, bro. Yo! Bro! Understandably, Brian is a little freaked out, but he manages to stay calm, reposition his camera, and continue his live stream. Are there any spirits here that would like to talk to me? Bro, I didn't even ask it. That's insane, dude. Was that you that just turned on the alarm? 
Yes. Brian is a little freaked out, but his friends keep telling him that he needs to go and say goodbye using the Ouija board. You see, in the paranormal community, not signing off by saying goodbye at the end of a session is considered to be a horrible mistake and is said to invite the contacted spirit to remain attached to the Ouija board user. So Brian goes back, and this is when sh goes sideways. Man, I took the lights and everything. <sighs> Bro. Oh my god, bro. Bro, the board went in. Get the phone, get your phone. Get out there, get out there, bro. Oh my god, I saw that. We caught that on camera. I'm leaving, bro. Yo, 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 get the out of here. Get the out of here. Get the out of here. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Get the out of here. The Ouija board suddenly slides across the pavement to the other side of the locked gate, right into Melville Cemetery. Brian starts to leave, but after everything that has happened, he again begins to worry that he didn't say goodbye after oh, using the Ouija board. Back. So Brian goes back again. He plans to jump the fence and retrieve the board. I'm jumping the fence, bro. I'm jumping the fence. Bro. Bro, Chris, Chris, look at the stream. Oh my God, bro. There's a big fire in there. There's a fire? There's a fire. Get out of here, run, run. Yo, get out of there, I'm not gonna get out of here. Bro, what is burning though? A fire can be seen burning on the road inside the cemetery. Even though his friends advise him to just leave, Brian once again feels that he should definitely try to retrieve that board to it's say on fire. How goodbye. Are you going to retrieve it? It's in, you didn't see it? No. Oh, you had to do No, no, I, I wasn't on my phone. I was looking at oh, 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 Look, Bro. throw the fire, throw the fire. Is this the ball? No, it was literally a fire. It's just the board. Oh, my fire! No! No! Bro, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Earlier today, you did your blessings, you did your prayers. Bro, it's literally graves. No, it's not. Bro, I see it. I see it. Yo, it's the board. It's the board. It's the board and the planchette. It's the board. No, with the planchette. No, it's the board. Oh my god. Bro, I'm not touching it. So do I just say goodbye? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Goodbye. Say goodbye, just say goodbye. Drag it, say goodbye. I did. Brian is finally able to say goodbye on the Ouija board, and he just gets out of there. But is it real? Or is it all just a very know, elaborate live stream like, hoax? Fake, have have I leave that up to you fire, to decide. Out so quick, though, you can see even more of this scary live Ouija like board session by. over on the YouTube channel, yeah. I'm Wishy. That was really Drawn out. Tattoo artist Liz Cruz is working on a customer's tattoo in her home studio in Erie, Pennsylvania. Things suddenly take a very disturbing turn. I'm just, um, like, adjusting the wheel a little bit. Okay, and we'll, we'll let that extend the drive for a couple of 
She tattooing at her crib? Or is this like a studio? It looks like she got baby stuff right there. What the f**k you leave the table just because it just moved? In the name of Jesus, leave us the f**k alone! What do you mean? I swear to God. Oh, did I miss that? Let me go back. What the f**k you leave the table just because it just moved? In the name of Jesus, leave us the f**k alone! What the f**k you leave the table just because it just what do you mean? I swear to God. Hell no! The table with Liz's tattoo supplies suddenly rolls away from her all by itself. Liz and her customer are a bit freaked out, but try to remain calm. But then a chair lurches out from a table nearby, and the two have had about enough. They get up and just make a run for it. Tattoo artist Liz says that she has no idea what happened to them that day, but she believes that they might have experienced something, quote, far beyond the ordinary. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.